Thanks for inviting us in. It's now 11 o'clock and we begin tonight with the mayor of Indianapolis fielding questions about how his administration handled allegations of sexual harassment involving his former deputy mayor. Mayor Joe Hogsett has come under intense scrutiny over the last month. Some people have called for him to step down. Today, our Emily Longnecker was there asking questions and joins us tonight with his answers. Emily. The mayor has said that he has no intention of stepping down and he will cooperate fully with this investigative committee formed by the city county council this week. Now this committee will look into how the administration handled allegations of sexual harassment. The committee has the power to subpoena people to testify in front of it, including the mayor himself. Proposition or proposal 286 or 287, excuse me. At a press conference Thursday, Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett signed a proposal already passed by the City County Council, authorizing an independent investigation into how allegations against former Deputy Mayor Thomas Cook were handled. It's never easy to learn about the misconduct of any co-worker, especially when it involves supervisors who were entrusted with the safety of their team. The first allegations against Cook stem from 2015. That's when a former campaign staffer says Cook harassed her. That woman, Lauren Roberts, says she told the mayor about what happened in 2017. The mayor says he contacted outside legal counsel to investigate, and Cook was sanctioned that same year. Roberts says no one ever contacted her at that time as part of an investigation. The mayor says that was up to the lawyers who investigated Roberts' claims. We're trying to get to the bottom of everything and the person is bringing the allegation. Should somebody ask that person? Should someone talk to them? I would have no disagreement with that. According to the mayor, he asked Cook to resign from the city in 2020 after Cook became involved with another staffer, something he was prohibited from doing as part of sanctions that came after the investigation into Robert's allegations. Then last September, a second allegation from a second woman, Carolyn Ellert, who told the mayor Cook also, also sexually harassed her in 2018 women, when she started working for the city. Um, in that case, the mayor says he reported the claims again, leading to another investigation. And once that investigation was completed, Mr. Cook was told he was not to have any more involvement at all in my campaign for re-election and that any contractual relationship he had with the city of Indianapolis was terminated. If you pushed him out in 20 This past July, both Roberts and Ellert went public with their stories, sparking widespread criticism of the Hogshead administration and its work culture. In the past month, the mayor has signed an executive order calling for sexual harassment training for all employees, not just supervisors, along with an anonymous reporting system for complaints. Why did it take 10 months for this bigger look? Because it's coming after these women have come forward to the media, now something is happening. Did it, did it take that? It would appear that it did. Well, it, it didn't take uh, any longer than uh, October of 2023 for me to act uh, and take action against Thomas Cook regarding Ms. Ellert, Ms. Ellert's allegations. As it relates to uh, why we are here today, uh, it is because uh, the press has widely reported on these matters. The city county council has uh, paired up with the administration to look into each and every one of these issues and resolve them in ways that provide safe and comfortable working environments for all city employees. But if why these not women start had not in October, why not start? With respect, me. I think he's answered that question. No, if and right now there are six other investigations taking place into complaints. One of those stem from a concern. The mayor says an employee brought to him at the end of July. The mayor says he referred that complaint to Human Resources and it is currently being investigated. In downtown Indianapolis, Emily Longnecker, 13 News. The city of Indianapolis also plans to bring in an outside national law firm with no local ties to review and make recommendations on the city county employee handbook. 